Welcome to the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. I'm Mig Morrison. And I'm Olympic gold medalist Mark Kennedy. And today we are at a golf course very appropriately named for all of its water hazards, Goose Hummock. I see you're just going to keep throwing all those intros yeah, in as well. it's never going to stop. I'm just Mig. All right, well, let's get to it. Amidst the natural forest near Gibbons is constant interlocking ponds. It's a combination of Scottish and Everglades architecture that twists and turns for 6,500 yards. Finishing your round with the same ball you started with is a rarity. Our guest today is an Edmontonian playing for his hometown football team and also happens to be the current Grey Cup champion. 2007 CJFL Defensive Player of the Year and now long snapper for the Edmonton Eskimos, Ryan King. Ryan, welcome to the show, my friend. Thank you for having me. I know that your priorities are basically on football right now. How's your golf game? It's been coming along. I uh, got a couple rounds in this year so far, a couple driving range sessions, and uh, just hope to hold it down for uh, the Eskimos here today. <laughs> how, how are you with water hazards? I like to stay away from water, stay away from the sand. I like to go right down the middle, get on the green, two putt par, call it a day. We'll right? see. I feel like that's foreshadowing. <laughs> We're going to put you to the test today. We'll head out to the 16th green right now and meet up with head golf professional Mike McAvey. He'll start us off with a tip. Mike, thanks for having us here today. What do you have in store for us? Uh, we're going to learn a nice little putting tip here. Uh, we're going to learn uh, how to control our distance on the green. Uh, give you guys an opportunity to, to see what happens when we hit two balls uh, at the same time and uh, uh, take that uh, out uh, onto the 16th green and show you guys uh, how we do that. That actually might up our odds of getting it in the hole if we hit two at once. Well, I like odds. it. Let's check it out. Okay, and now I'm just going to demonstrate this. Holy, really? I was not expecting that at all. Off the heel, it was way further. This one looks like your putt. Hmm. You know what, just for that mark, you can demonstrate next. Now you know there's something substantially wrong if you don't hit it further off the heel. They're both gonna go in. <laughs> it didn't go further off the toe. Did I do something wrong, Mike? Absolutely not. But it shows the difference in the uh, in the putters and uh, and uh, the kind of control you lose. You really have no excuses now, with what you've just seen. Yeah, mine went further off the toe as well. <laughs> the hole is open. Well, Ryan's the only one that did it like the pro did it. He got it halfway there. <laughs> They're the same distance away. <laughs> so now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to show you uh, what we need to do in order to catch this ball into the middle of the club face. So it starts with uh, making sure that your feet are shoulder width apart. So that would look something more like this. This is going to create a little bit of stability so that our body has the ability to stay uh, quiet during the putting stroke. Let me demonstrate. So here's my shoulders or my feet again uh, shoulder width apart. I'm going to put the putter behind the ball. I'm going to set up. And I'm going to keep my eyes in the same place while I make this stroke. My lower body is not going to move. You're not going to see any twisting. Go in. Oh! oh. <laughs> Good putt. Well done. I'm going to put all your uh, lessons to use here, Mike. Oh, Ooh. better. Left yourself a little bit of a putt. I did. Stay up. Get in. Stay up. Oh, good putt. Go higher than that, Ryan. Come on, man. We need one to go in here. Oh, this has a chance. Get there. Oh. Nice putt. Well, you definitely have the shortest leave. But we're starting from scratch on this one. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll do a challenge that involves the putt here on the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH. Adjusting, improving, adapting, growing. SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving is ready to work with you. Since 1985, SLH has built a reputation for being tough enough to handle any job, just like the tough Albertans we work for. Oil field hauling, pile driving, 
Crane and Picker Services with branches in Slave Lake, Wabasca, Whitecourt, and Atchison. We've got you covered. Call today. Built to last. SLH. Kentwood Ford isn't just going to find you a vehicle that's safe, classy, and affordable. They're also going to find you one that fits your lifestyle. They suited me up with this 2016 Ford Explorer that's perfect for my daily routine. Whether I'm picking up groceries, taking my daughter to dad's class, or going on another shoot for the Pro-Am Golf Show, the Ford Explorer gets me and all my belongings there in style. Let Kentwood Ford enhance your transportation. Visit their new showroom at 97th Street and 133rd Ave, or their used Supercenter at 101 Street and 137th Ave. Welcome back to the Pro-Am Golf Show, brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. We are here today at Goose Hummock with Edmonton Eskimos long snapper, Ryan King. All right, we are going to play the first hole here. We're gonna start it off with a chip and we'll see who can finish first from there. So Mark, I volunteer you to go first. This is the first hole brought to you by ProStar Energy. It's a chillier morning. We introduce the show, then you take off your sweater. Why did you take off your sweater? Because we match. Unplanned, Unplanned, I might add. Co-hosts. Thought it was real cute, so I took off the sweater. Now I'm freezing. It's like this partnership was meant to be. You just deemed it cute. This is awesome. I actually hope you do well on this shot. Really? Yeah, just for this one. Just for this one. That looks That's pretty good. good. Kaboom. Nicely sit, done. Sit, sit. Look oh, out, geese. Down. Just a heater. Oops. Uh-oh. Keep that chipper in your hand. Yeah. We actually don't know if you're a golfer yet or not, so this will kind of we'll show us what we're working here. with today. Get up. Get over that Get ridge over. and it could be good. Keep going. Ah, uh, good try. I'm gonna let you do this without even chirping you. Really? Yeah, just knock good it luck, tight. Mate. That makes yeah. me more uncomfortable. Good luck. There it is. Oh, that's not even close still. But it's good for putting control. Now that Meg finally made it on the green, Ryan, we just wanted to ask you a couple of questions. So, great cup champion, how does that feel? Feels great. Uh, it's been a long time coming for, for this team. Uh, 10 years since the last win. And uh, it's been uh, such an honor to be a part of this uh, team from my first four years and uh, going through the the lower seasons and, and, and grinding up uh, to get a win, uh, it feels great for, for myself, for all my teammates and the city. So how did you celebrate winning afterwards? Was it just week long party? Yeah, week, maybe two weeks. Uh, <laughs> maybe uh, the first week was definitely uh, enjoyable. The, the whole team stuck around, all the coaches stuck around. Um, Coach Jones was really uh, adamant about us uh, celebrating together. So um, we had the, the limos and the restaurants and we had the Grey Cup with us everywhere and we had uh, a good, uh, a good uh, group of guys that were out with us for, for that first week before everyone took off. So it was uh, fun to celebrate with, uh, with all of our team and, and as well, obviously, uh, to celebrate with family. You know what this is? Me getting my camera time in. Very selfish like that. It's working. Yeah. Sit. Get down. Well, it broke all that much, but definitely didn't need to hit it that hard. Almost needed to get the wedge again. Thanks for the putt preview, Meg. I don't think that your stance is wide enough. Mike yeah, said to widen right. your stance. Shoulder width. Yeah, your shoulders are a little bit bigger being a football player, so Just... maybe widen them a bit more. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm going to hang with you, Meg. Ooh, greasy downhill putt. Yes. You could win it right here. Just tap it in. Tap it in. Go to your home ball. Ooh, that's no gimme either. Ryan, you need to sink this so that Mark's putt seems like six feet. All right. Miss. Oh, get in the hole. Oh, oh. All right. Pressure on. Wow. Great putt. Mark, you need to get this in for the push. Oh, yeah. What's up? I'm rooting for you here. Big putt. This is what the pros must feel like. Oh, and he pulls it off. 
<laughs> nice celebration too. Good job, buddy. Good job. Okay, the first hole is a push, so that's great news for me. Now let's go talk to Mike from Goose Hammock one more time about this beautiful golf course. Well, Mike, thank you so much for having us out here this year. What can you tell us about this course? Uh, we're only 20 minutes from uh, the city of Edmonton, so it's not too, uh, too big of a drive. And also being kind of coming outside the north uh, east side of the city, uh, uh, it's also uh, some of the quieter traffic uh, in the city. So uh, getting out here is a, an easy uh, track. So it's not all that far. People think Gibbons, but it's really, it's not that far. And then also on top of that, because you are outside of the city, you have some great rates. Absolutely, uh, it starts with our membership. Uh, our membership, uh, you know, you can get a two, two some anytime uh, membership for, for two grand. So that's only a thousand dollars a person. And uh, uh, that applies to any you know, male, female, uh, two guys, two friends, uh, anyone can join on that. That's awesome. And really, you don't have to play all that many rounds to get your money's worth. Absolutely, we figure it's about 25 rounds. So you know, uh, that equates to about one time per week. Nice, and with the early season this year, you'll have that done by really July if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. All right, and I wanna ask you what your favorite thing is about this golf course. Uh, for me, it's the par threes. Uh, my favorite hole out here is number eight. Uh, and I uh, love the, the accent of the water. Um, and 17 would be a close second. And of course, today you guys uh, are getting the opportunity to play that hole. All right, Mike, well, thank you so much. We're going to take a quick break now. When we come back, we will play that 17th hole here on the Pro-Am Golf Show, brought to you by SLH. Twisted Tee, the official tee of the Pro-Am Golf Show. How fast is it? Plenty fast. It's not how fast you mow, it's how well you mow fast. It's not how fast you mow, it's how well you mow fast. It's not how fast you mow, it's, it's how, how well you mow fast. fast. It's how well you mow fast! It's how well you mow fast. Even if it doesn't catch on, doesn't mean it's not true. The John Deere Z-Track Z535M with our re-engineered deck to mow faster, better. From your farm, to your lawn, to your weekend, Martin Deerline has you covered. Adjusting, improving, adapting, growing. SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving is ready to work with you. Since 1985, SLH has built a reputation for being tough enough to handle any job, just like the tough Albertans we work for. Oil field hauling, pile driving, crane and picker services, with branches in Slave Lake, Wabaska, Whitecourt, and Atchison. We've got you covered. Call today. Built to last. SLH. Welcome back to the Pro-Am Golf Show brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. Today we're at the Goose Hummock Golf Resort with Edmonton Eskimo long snapper Ryan King. The first hole was a push. We're going to start this second hole with a KP competition brought to you by Ken Morrison of Remax Excellence. We've never had a hole in one on the golf show, so. Oh, that's just we a still don't. <laughs> Get down. Uh oh. Sit. Oh. Uh -oh. I hear that there's a drop zone. It's terrible. You should be okay. You should be on the green. <laughs> Mark was focused on this one. Get up. Oh, sit. A little deep too, but it's dry. See, I was trying to pose. Yeah, hold your finish. So the door's open here for you. Finally, I've been waiting for you guys to do that. Oh, a little right. It's okay though. I believe it's that on is the, green. the KP winner. KP. Oh, yeah. Yes. Let's finish off the second hole brought to you by Summers Drilling. Hitting three. You found your area. <laughs> My drop zone. Get a nice, nice easy lay here. Oh, there's a good one. Wow. Get going. You totally redeemed yourself. All right, a little Nicely bit. done. So Ryan, you're an Edmonton kid, and you were drafted into the CFL as a linebacker, but now you're a long snapper. Tell us a little bit about how that came about. Um, it was one of those things that I've uh, kind of practiced throughout my career growing up. Uh, like you said, I played linebacker up until my last season, uh, and then I started long snapping. Had some good mentors uh, throughout my, my career. 
uh, understood the importance of the position and um, sure enough I, I was real stubborn getting uh, practicing and I got really good at it and uh, the year I got drafted uh, like you said as a linebacker I showed up to training camp and uh, Taylor Inglis who was the long snapper at the time he just uh, recently retired and um, it was an open position at the time and uh, they had uh, four or five guys they brought into training camp for, for the job and I ended up uh, coming through at the end and uh, fast forward uh, four years later in a great cup and here we are still snapping footballs. As I understand it, Inglis recommended that you take that role, is that correct? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I've known uh, Taylor for you know my whole life, my whole football uh, life for sure. And uh, yeah, he retired the year that I came in and um, he was, uh, I was down in San Diego training uh, with some trainers down there and he actually sent me down all of his CFL balls. Uh, to train with uh, when I was down in the States because it's American balls down there. So we that was bigger balls. We have bigger balls up here, yes. Um, so that was really cool. It was a cool moment for me that he kind of shipped all of his football bag down to me and kind of like a little passing down, uh, you know, the to the next generation. So I obviously appreciated him retiring when he did and uh, has allowed me to, to continue on my football career. Bit of a long birdie putt but I get to use my new putting distance control knowledge. Shoulder width. I think you think your shoulders are wider go. than what they are. Oh no, Mark. Oh, disappointed in my putting distance control. What do you think, Ryan? This looks like three putt territory. Yeah, minimum three putt here. Yikes. Remember to hit it in the center of the club. Kay. Against the wind, uphill. Oh, that looks pretty, pretty good. good. Oh, man. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> That's much better than my last putting display. Meg was listening and chipping. To the golf pro. You really need this to put the pressure on my putt, Mark. I do. I'm pretty Come sure on, you're going to miss that one, but I'd like to make this and then I can win the hole. That's a miss. That's just as far away as mine is. Might be farther. Okay, so I need to sink this one for the win. Ooh, just a huge comeback from the last hole. I think this one breaks. The wind picked up for this one. Ready, guys? Ah. Like there was ever a doubt. Yes, okay, so after that, I now have a one hole lead on you guys. We have one hole left. We're gonna play that in a bit. First, let's take a look at one of the more obscure rules of golf, brought to you by Cantork. If your club head falls off during your backswing and you complete the swing but miss the ball, it doesn't count as a stroke. But if your club head falls off during the downswing and you complete the swing but miss the ball, you guessed it, you're shooting too. Gantork is the solution to your bolting problems. With the largest inventory of bolting products in Canada, we have what you need to work smarter, not harder. Cantork will get you back to work faster with quick turnarounds on repairs and service. Rent it, buy it, whatever the job needs. Founded and headquartered in Edmonton and made by people who care. Visit us in-store or online at cantork.com. Torque it easy with Cantork. Problem solved. Kentwood Ford isn't just going to find you a vehicle that's safe, classy, and affordable. They're also going to find you one that fits your lifestyle. They suited me up with this 2016 Ford Explorer that's perfect for my daily routine. Whether I'm picking up groceries, taking my daughter to dad's class, or going on another shoot for the Pro-Am Golf Show, the Ford Explorer gets me and all my belongings there in style. Let Kentwood Ford enhance your transportation. Visit their new showroom at 97th Street and 133rd Ave, or their used Supercenter at 101 Street and 137th Ave. Turn to the golf tournament specialist for your company or charity event. The Ranch Golf and Country Club has perfected the art of making your day a success. Visit theranchgolf.com for bookings. Adjusting, improving, adapting, growing. SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving is ready to work with you. Since 1985, SLH has built a reputation for being tough enough to handle any job, just like the tough Albertans we work for. Oil field hauling, pile driving, crane and picker services. With branches in Slave Lake, Wabasca, Whitecourt, and Atchison, we've got you covered. Call today. Built to last. SLH. It's 
time for another co-host challenge, Meg versus Mark, brought to you by Cougar Paint and Collision. I'm down one nothing, but a chance to redeem myself with another closest to the pin with our hickory shaft. This is going to be interesting. Wind will be a factor. So this club is from 1935, made in Scotland. It feels pretty good. It does feel good. I'm glad you're going first though. Yeah, let's see. Oh, oh little thin. Oh, Green is open for you. Oh, I believe, anyway. Well, it's on there, but I've definitely given you a wide opening. Channel your ancestors. <laughs> oh, that's a good shot. That's not what I was trying to do. Oh, that's a but good But I'll win. take it. <laughs> well done. We're all tied up. Welcome back to the Pro-Am Golf Show, brought to you by SLH Picker Service and Pile Driving. We're here today at Goose Hummock Golf Course with Edmonton Eskimo Ryan King. You guys are a little behind going into the third and final hole. I'm one up on you, but we're gonna start it off with a long drive competition and it's brought to you by Ken Morrison of Remax Excellence. Hello. Hello. Right down the middle. That's Seriously? That's exactly what I wanted to do. I had to use driver, you get to use a hybrid. Can I beat you in the long drive with a hybrid? Probably. I'll find out. That's a good ball. Just a nice smooth swing too. You sailed bunker. past ah, my... I oh, got bunker. Yeah, it might be in the bunker. In the yeah. Beach. Can't win a long drive if you're not in the fairway. All right, got the three wood going way further than Mark, right? We'll see. That is well hit. That one should be good. Cool. There it is. Uh, nice, nice. Not nice in the fairway, down. not the long drive, but. Not in the water. Not in the water. We're not gonna the have water. to check no this out ball. and see who has it. We are gonna have to see. <laughs> Mark, congratulations on the long drive. Nailed it. That's a nice victory dance. Now it comes down to the third hole. Let's finish it off. Good luck. Oh, I hooked it. Safe though. Good, I get to practice chipping again. Well, Ryan's still about 70 yards up on us after this one, but the green is open. Mr. Long Drive with the short game. You know how oh, accurate curlers are. That's looking pretty good. Are. You're all over it. Be the club. <sighs> Sit. Get off the green. <laughs> nice shot, oh, Mark. I like it. A little bit of an awkward lie. A little bit. Nice drive, though. Here's your chance. Looks good. Be the one. Sit down. Sit. A little bit of a tough bounce. Uh, I'll put it. On there. You're the only one on there after these two shots. What can I say? Okay. Co-host pro. I feel like we need to take a little bit of a break from golf now. I want to test your football ability. All, All right. right. All right, Ryan, there is your challenge. Keep carts 30 feet from the green. I want to see if you can hit that sign. We're about 20 yards out. If it wasn't so chilly today, I won't, you know, test you too much. How far could you go? Uh, 35 to 40 yards, depending on the wind. Uh, wind plays a big factor in snapping. If I had the wind behind me, maybe a little bit farther. But uh, during, during our snaps, it's always 15 yards on the dot. So that's usually what I'm clocked in at. So the wind is actually a factor today. Are you aiming at that sign or no? No, I'd probably be, uh, the wind's going this way. So I'd be aiming probably two, three feet to the left and uh, gonna send a prayer over there and hopefully it brings it in and I can hit it, so. It should be good. Yes. Have Let's at see, her. see how I can do here. Give her. All right. <laughs> oh, you got it. Hey. Oh, you got it. <laughs> that was unreal. I got that it. was very cool. You even turned it on its side? Okay, well, no, Mark, you're up. You guys probably don't know that I was a star quarterback back in my high school junior days. Wow. Yeah, led the Edmonton Huskies to a perfect season. 
0 oh and 9. <laughs> a man of many talents. How many snaps? Yeah, there you go. That was pretty good distance. That wasn't My bad. Accuracy's a little off though, hey? It was the wind. It's the wind. That was the wind. I, I saw Ryan go like this. There you go. <laughs> Tastes like fertilizer. Oh my goodness. Yes. <laughs> Great distance. Great distance control. If you need a backup, Ryan, I am all over that, okay? This is kind of a big shot, Meg. Chipping for birdie. Here we go. Ooh, go. I'm leaving myself a downhill putt. But That's you're not on. good. Yeah, on is good, right? Center of the green. <laughs> oh, that is really downhill. Time to shine. Where am I going? Turn. Okay. Still on the green. Not a lot of curl in golf. No. <laughs> For the win. Putting distance. Stay up. Get in. Oh, with uh -oh. work left. Sit uh -oh. down, ball. Uh -oh. Stay on the green. Where are you going? Uh oh. Oh, this, this plan could get C really right interesting. there. Nobody's got a gimme. No. Okay, let's keep at her. <laughs> Meg, if you make this, you win the match. Oh. No pressure. Yeah. All the pressure. Now there's even more. This is severely downhill. Lots of wind. All I'm thinking about is long snapping now. I think I have a real career at that coming up. Gotta go. Gotta go. Going. Oh, I got so scared of that hill. Oops. Okay, Ryan, well, you're we up. We got some putts. We got some work to do. Finally, an uphill putt. For par. Get up. Get in oh. there. Oh. It's not like long too. snapping, is it? <laughs> oh, way better at that. <laughs> All right, well, we'll give you that one. You're All in right. for bogey. Mark, you need to sink this. This is huge. Big pressure For the win of this hole. 18th hole. He hits it. Yeah. It Are you out. kidding oh me? Oh my goodness. Don't worry about where it goes. Well, it all, okay, so if I miss mine and you miss that one, then Ryan wins this hole. All of a sudden, Ryan is back in it with his bogey. Okay, Mark, you need this one. I'm rooting for you. Thanks, Meg. I'm not. Get in. Get in. He hits Get it. In. Look at that. <laughs> and he gets it. Well done. <laughs> yes. I and you know, that actually worked out really well for me because with that, you two push that one and I get the only win on this show. Thanks, show host boys. wins it. Weird. <laughs> okay, I will give this to you though. It's time for the shot of the show. It's brought to you by Bablet's Wealth Management. Let's take a look at your drive again on this hole. That is well hit. That one should be good. Cool. There it is. Uh, nice, nice. Not nice in the fairway, done. not the long drive, but not in the water. Well, Ryan, did you have a good time? I did. Thank you very much for having me on the Pro-Am Golf Show. I uh, had a great time being out here with you guys and uh, didn't get the win, but had a lot of fun. Well, thank you so much for coming and best of luck this football season. Bring home another great cup, okay? That's the plan. On behalf of Century Vision Care and Maui Gym, I've got a free pair of sunglasses for you there. So thank you so much for coming on the show. Awesome, thank you very much, Maui Gym Sunglasses. All right, and thank you so much for watching. Keep in mind, you can watch us every Saturday right here on CTV Edmonton at 11.30. And if you miss any of our episodes, they're all online at proamgolfshow.ca. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook at Pro-Am Golf Show. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next week. Pro-Am Golf Show vehicles provided by Kentwood Ford.